Hey everybody, I'd first like to apologize. Last night's vid, I was a little bit lazy when it came to the vid. I kind of just went over the daily signals and didn't really get too much into the rotation, which there was some rotation we were able to pick up on Monday. I just did not get it on my list last night. So that's on me. And obviously it not only affects me, but it affects you guys as well as the stat people. So that is on me. I'll be better in the future. That being said though, what do we see today and what do we got going into tomorrow? So today in the indexes, we really didn't see much. So like I said yesterday, no reason to really rush into stuff because you got inside week, inside month, and no, notice the inside day. It did nothing today. So inside day spy, inside day queues, same exact deal. Very inside week, inside month still. And Dow Jones was a two to the upside, so relatively stronger than IBM. Two down finishes the outside week from the gap sell on Monday, which I was able to capitalize on myself. Um, so finishes off the magnitude. Now those two bars are outside of all of last week's range. And here's your try like so. So the question is, expando, two down tomorrow or two back in? And since we see recovery in the market, more than likely IBM tries to recover. Doesn't mean it'll be successful in doing so, but we'll see. It's still very early in the month. Uh, as far as strat attack names go, we're going to see on the downside first. And let me pull up the scans. On the downside first, we are going to be seeing a lot of energies, which, you know, makes sense. We picked up on that yesterday and we did get a lot of two downs today. Just didn't get much after the open as far as signals are concerned. And this is why it's so important to understand the 60 signals, a major time frame signal. So they go two and then the one, and then that's it, right? They chop around for one, two, three hours. They did rev strat, take high day out, but that was it. They were unable to reclaim yesterday's lows. Were unable to stop out anyone that got short yesterday. So nothing happened. Um, what they did create, though, was the hammer at the lows, XLE and XOP. OIH is still a little weaker, but we are into lower time frame daily, short-term exhaustion going into the lows. So two twos tomorrow would be back into the threes of Monday, and that'd be something we'd want to know if we reclaim that stuff. And there's a lot of hammers that are setting up. So like Halliburton, that's a two down, no hammer. BP, two down, gap down, slight hammer. If we go to... CVX, Hammer, Oxy, Hammer, Shell, Hammer, XOM, Hammer, Fang, Hammer back into Monday's range, so it's already a little bit stronger than the rest, and DVN, sorry, also Hammer, COP, not so, or not so much, but slightly. So a lot of hammers for tomorrow. We do have the energy numbers an hour after the open tomorrow. So we'll see what the 3060s bring. And what we want to do is say tomorrow, do those 3060s confirm daily hammers up and put those in force or take them in force and keep them going? Or do they negate getting the weekly, monthly, and daily guys all selling again? So that's going to be our question come the energy numbers Wednesday, an hour after the open. And that's a trade we do every week. So we'll see what sets up and what we got. But if we then take a look at the rest, you'll have some materials getting really killed in here. Dow, three, two down, two down to start the week with the month inside down in force, three on two reversal. So you got all month to get after that with confirming signals. We'll see if anything sets up later this week, along with NUE, two down, two down to start the week with the Momo shoot month in force. I believe there's also quarterly in here, three on the quarter already. So it's got to stay below 165.29 or else it's reclaiming the three. Um, Veil is also another one getting killed. Quarter down, you'll see on the year. Year inside down, back into this three, so Veil's not having a good time either. 2-2-2 two, 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 Momo Shooter Month. So although it's a 2-2 two, two reversal, this is Momo because it's Shooter Counter Hammer. So that's something we want to know, and they are puking two down, two down to start. We don't have to be the first ones in. We can let them triangle out, but that's where we see some selling occurring in the materials. And... Outside of that, there's not really too much we can pick up on as far as simultaneous breaks are concerned. Uh, industrials didn't get much follow through. You got the XLI inside day today, 3 1. Um, could that trigger the month down? Potentially, right? You'll have things like waste management going inside day in there with high ATRs as well as Lockheed Martin inside day in there, as well as GD inside day in there, two going three week. So, something like GD, you can see potential 2 1 2 reversal. And that'd be pivot machine gun through these guys in the industrials, specifically aerospace defense. Norfolk Southern is also an inside day in there in the industrials. Closer to pivot machining, pivot machine gunning these guys, taking out the weekly lows again. Just no signals in here besides the quarter. I believe it's going to be two up, two down here. Yeah, so two, two quarters in force. So the day would confirm that. Um, 
as far as the upside is concerned, you're going to see a lot of staples. You're going to see a lot of discretionary and some communications, which we did pick up on yesterday. So if we go two up, and what I'm scanning for is two up, two up, or two down, two down dailies with monthly twos. Because what that tells you is they bought Monday or Tuesday, came back for more, or vice versa. Sold Monday, Tuesday, came back for more to sell more. So they probably have more to sell. So when we look at the two up, two up to start the week, you'll see the cruise lines, which totally missed on the nightly scans. And that was on me because these put the weeks in force Monday. RCL did that. NCLH did that. And they closed up at the highs. So that should have been on my scans. I was just lazy and did not scan for that. So that's on me. CCL also 222. So very bright green. Bought Monday and Tuesday. They could have more to buy. And looking at CCL, two going three on the quarter, 1834. So you still have some range to try and go after. Just need additional 60 signals to try and do that. Um, you'll see things like Starbucks. Also two up, two up to start. Inside weaken up with... Currently a 2-2 month back to the upside. You'll see TJX, continuation month, 2 up, 2 up to start with the inside week in force. BBY, 2 up, 2 up to start, 3-2 expansion month in force. And I believe the next pivot target's up here, 93.32 on the quarterly. Uh, in the staples, that was consumer discretionary. In the staples, you have KO. Two up, two up to start the week, and they're really getting after that one. Two up month, three, two expansion week. You'll have MO, two up, two up with the two, two week in force, confirming the quarter to the upside. You'll have Philip Morris, two up, two up to start the week, three, two week to the upside with full time from continuity. And if we zoom out a little bit here, Philip Morris has been higher. So, other side of this big old monthly try, if they can get out of it, is 112. 48 so you still got room to go after and that stuff can be in the staples as well you're gonna see the month and up in force two up two up to start the week with the hammer two two week in force just a little mother bar issues here to this month but or to this previous week but inside month so we'll see if that can stay in force and get us out of there uh in the health cares pfizer went two up two up to start with two 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 week in force confirming a two going three quarter and negating the yearly from the bottom of the yearly try You'll also have VRTX, Hammer Week Force with the Momo Hammer Day for tomorrow. Uh, at all-time highs, you will have NVAX. Also, two up, two up to start the week. And this is where you get slight corrective activity. If they go two up tomorrow, they should go flying because whoever got short today, they could have stayed short. It stops at the highs. Go in there tomorrow and they take that out. Potentially, those shorts get blown out. So we'll see if that can keep going. I do have a position there still. Um Outside of that, there's a few infotechs like Apple and NVIDIA, two up, two up to start. And they're just going into recent highs. NVIDIA, Apple does have its conference stuff coming up in the near future. You will also have in the communications, Spotify, two up, two up to start. And inside month up in force, trying to go to all time highs still. So that one's got a lot of range to go after. And in there, you have TTWO as well. Going into tomorrow, we already pointed out a few inside days with GD, LMT, and waste management, but you will also have ABV in the healthcare's inside day to confirm a 2-2 week. Um, LOI in the healthcare is also inside day. And then we already know NVAX and PFE, which is where we want to be. And then a lot of infotechs go inside day, but still inside week. So they're high ATR names, but you might have to go inside after last week's big pukage. But MongoDB is inside. Autodesk is inside after the gap up on Monday for a potential two on two down or two on two continuation up. Um, CRM after its big gap lower, also inside. Dell after its big gap lower, also inside after poking last week's lows. So there's a chance it goes back into the weekly three, but it's inside month still kind of stuck. In the chips, you got SMCI inside day. That could become a PMG back up or it could become the inside day into the month and force down. So we'll see. On the rest of the chips, you have a ton of them. AMAT, inside day. KLAC, inside day. ADI, inside day, stuck to the month. ARM, inside day, could confirm a month and up. AVGO, inside day, after poking down on the week, very inside month still. MU, inside day, very stuck on the week. TXN. Inside inside day stuck on the week for now. So a lot of the chips really just drying up in the tech. We don't have as much in the tech as we used to. So when we go and look at the staples, 
you got some good action going on in there, good long green bars. That's what we look for. Uh, but compare that to XLK, not so much. SMH, not so much. But given inside days, that could change. So we'll see, do they come in and do anything to change that tomorrow? Uh, the only other stuff we'll have is the Utes. You got potential one, two, two in here. And we can actually use the strat site to find that stuff here and you'll see it here. ETR, EXC, and PEG would have the rev strats. As far as relative strength is concerned, SO and DUK, they're still much stronger. So SO is three, two weak, two up, two up to start. Duck is three, two, two weak, two up, two up to start. Going into the short-term exhaustion of the daily on both of those, but still not at all time high. So they got range to go. So that's going to be about it as far as coming into the new month is concerned. Uh, as far as what I did today, GPS was one I was able to get into and hold on to. There was a 60 ad in here that I missed because I got off uh, before the afternoon session, but going to be holding that to see, does that follow through, giving us a potential 3-3 week? They got a lot of range to go after. Um, JP Morgan, I was able to trade some scalp in there for about 57% on the green to red move day, and that was about it. Didn't get much action in the financials. They stayed inside week. Uh, on all the telecommunications, we did have the breakdown in the morning, Verizon T. But in the afternoon or in later part of the morning session, they went 31260s up. And you can see it takes an outside day. If you go to T, 312 up as well, and then it takes it outside day. So even if you did short and goes green on the day, you just have to get out, which was break even. I think I took like 10% loss or something on it. Could have came back and made your money back here. I just wasn't trading those. I decided to uh, go and trade the other GPS and other names that we had like CPNG, which had a really nice drop in the morning off the daily into the weekly. So able to get some stuff done, just nothing too crazy able to be held. And that's fine. It's still early in the month. So we'll see what we get tomorrow. If we're going to get those continuations in the health cares, hopefully, and what the inside days will bring. We'll be scanning who's inside up, who's inside down and looking for simultaneous breaks. So that'll be about it for me. Hopefully you guys had a good trading day and didn't do too much given the chop shop. And I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for those in stat. For those that are not, I'll see you guys in tomorrow night's nightly vid.